In this video we have a look at where the quadratic formula comes from. Okay, the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and all of this divided by 2a. The a, the b and the c come from ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So you have this quadratic equation, you're trying to solve it and the coefficient of x squared is a, the coefficient of x, the linear term is b, and then you've got the constant c. So these values a, b and c appear in the formula and you can work out your solutions to this equation. What we're going to look at is where this formula comes from starting with this general quadratic equation. I'm going to complete the square for these two terms. The coefficient of x squared is not 1, so the first step is to divide both of these terms by a. So we have this. So I've divided both terms by a, and I've multiplied by a on the outside, with the brackets here. So nothing's changed. So if you do a times x squared, you have this. a times b over a x will give you bx plus c. So that's equal to 0. And then completing the square for these terms. taking half the coefficient of this term, so that will be b over a times a half, which gives you b over 2a, minus this term squared, and all of this was multiplied by a, multiplying by a, plus the c. Multiplying out the square brackets, so the a multiplies here and with this fraction here. So the a, when multiplied by this fraction, the a multiplies the numerator to give you a b squared, like this. And then we can cancel the a from the top with one of the a's from the denominator. And that gives us this. And now I'm going to move these two terms to the right-hand side of the equation and that gives this. And now I'm going to write the minus c as a fraction but with 4a as a denominator. So if I use 4a as a denominator then I have b squared, there's the minus. So that fraction there, b squared over 4a, is this. So if I multiply the c with 4a, like this, so I've combined these two separate terms into a single fraction. And the left-hand side remains unchanged. 
and now I'm going to divide both sides by A. So if I divide the left hand side by A, the A cancels, and dividing the right hand side by A, that's like multiplying by 1 over A. So that A there multiplies the denominator. So I can get rid of this. And now I'm going to square root both sides. So x plus b over 2a is equal to, because if you square root the left hand side, the square root and the square will cancel. And on the right hand side, b squared minus 4ac, that's the numerator, I've square rooted that. And if I square the denominator, I get this. But 4a squared, I just focus on the denominator there, 4a squared can be written like this, 2a in brackets squared. That still gives you 4a squared. And then I'm square rooting. Can you see the square root and the square will cancel to give you just 2a? So the denominator here is actually 2a. Like this. And then if I move the b over 2a term to the right hand side, so I've got x is equal to minus b over 2a. And one thing I've forgotten here, when I took a square root on both sides, uh, you get a plus or minus here. I forgot to put that in. So x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And because both of these fractions have the same denominator, I can write them together as a single fraction. So I've got the plus or minus there, like this. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So as you can see, the quadratic formula comes from completing the square when you start with ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero.